morning, girls. It's sub day. F this, I'm going to Hogwarts. So it's challenge week, and I have several challenges to catch up with. One of my challenges was given to me back in March by Dallas, and that is to talk about one of my favorite books that not a lot of people know about. And so I decided to pick The Unicorn Chronicles. It was the first series that I really got into, and I was in elementary school the first time I read it. Uh, it just recently finished all four books, but it was definitely well worth the wait. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it as I cook something for you. Because of the unicorn theme, and because of Nia's challenge for me to bake you guys something, I'm going to make you unicorn poop cookies. So it's pretty simple sugar cookie recipe to start with. Um, you use three quarters cup of shortening, and then you add two eggs, one cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So one of the things I really love about the Unicorn Chronicles is it has such a complex plot. He really gave a lot of thought to every character you come across in the books. Even characters that seem really minor become really important. Kind of like in Harry Potter, how Neville Longbottom ends up becoming a very important player in the end of the books. The main character, she has this really complex family history. Her grandma's friends with the unicorns in the land of Luster, where they have gone to escape the persecution of Earth, where they're being hunted to death. And her father is a hunter, and the hunters are descendants of this woman who is constantly kept alive by the fact that she has a unicorn horn stuck in her heart, and she's a very bitter woman, and she just wants to kill the unicorns. All right, now our dough is nice and chilled. I've preheated the oven to 400, and I'm going to go ahead and roll out the doughs. Basically, for each cookie, you're going to make a little snake out of each one of the colors. And it's going to fall apart a lot. That's just the way the dough is. It's not exactly the type of dough that's designed for this type of work. We just keep making a whole bunch of little snakes. And how long you make your snakes just depends on how big you want your poop to be. You want to remember that you're going to be adding each one of these colors to each of these snake things to make your rainbow poop. And as you make each one, you kind of want to make it the same length as, as whatever you're matching it to. Like, I have different lengths here that I ended up with, so kind of match that up. I've never made these before, so this is kind of an experiment for me, too. I found it online, and I thought it looked like fun to make. You might want to double the dough when you make this recipe. I did it just w with the actual recipe that it came with. I'll put the link to the website where the recipe is found below. Um, and I did exactly how the recipe was on there and it looks like it's not going to make that many cookies so that's something to keep in mind and what's really cool about the recipe on online is the person who made up this thing actually posts a lot of pictures uh, step by step just how to make the poop so you can uh, make sure that you're doing it right all right so now what you do is you take each poop and you kind of shape it into a poo shape. You know, when I was reading Into the Land of the Unicorns, I never really gave too much thought about what the unicorn poop would be like. And they're such nice, amazing creatures. You would think their poop would be beautiful. Maybe not tasty like this poop, but really beautiful. I think this would be a really good recipe for if you have kids. Um, uh, like maybe do a picnic with them and have some of these cookies ready and go hide them in the bushes and 
and say, hey, oh my gosh, I found some unicorn poo. And I'm sure they'll be very excited about it and think that it's awesome. So now we're gonna put these cookies in the oven. It says to cook it for six to eight minutes, so I'm gonna put it in for the six minutes, take it out, put some decorations in, and then put it back in for like the last two minutes. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting these little white gem things and bedding them into the poop. The reason why we are doing this and, and trying to put it back in the oven and bake it some more is so that they bake in and they don't roll off so much. So now I'm going to put these back in the oven for about two minutes so that uh, these things that I just put in can bake in. So our next step is going to be to take this sparkle gel and use it to make our poop look shiny. You're supposed to use white sparkle gel, but there wasn't any white sparkle gel at Walmart, so I just went with blue. Just kind of want to get it into all those little cracks. We're trying to make it look wet and shiny and uh, smooth. Instead of stars, I have these uh, flowers that I'm gonna put on in mine. And there we go. A whole bunch of unicorn poo. Let's see how it tastes. Grandma, would you like to test my unicorn poop? Oh, certainly. Here. I'm gonna make sure you're in the frame. All right. Hmm. Delicious. It's the best shit I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'll try some. That's a really good sugar cookie recipe. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. There were funky China men from funky Chinatown. They were chopping. enough for you then I don't know what else to try I could get a little bit hyper when I was with my friends who I hadn't seen in ages and I had a lot of sugar and caffeine yeah until next time Marauders love you guys bye